Hey girls, welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on notifications to see all of my future videos. Hi everyone, welcome back to my nail channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a second look using the Friday Night Glow in the Dark Dip Powder Kit from Double Dip. If you missed the first set that I did with this kit, I will link it down in the description. I have already prepped my nails for this dip powder application. This kit also comes with the holographic carrying case, so this allows you to store all of the products that come in this kit. This kit does not come with the dip bond and the cuticle oil, but I went ahead and placed it down for this video because it is the full set of dip liquids. You can purchase these separately if you are interested. I will link both of these down in the description as well. These are the dip liquids that come in the kit. So you have your dip base, activator, dip top coat, and the brush shaper. This kit comes with these six different colors of glow dip powders. The super cute pink fluffy nail brush to dust away all of the excess dip powder. The cuticle pusher. A small hand file. The buffing block. And four different replacement brushes. Here's an up close clip of As If. The color yellow. Lucky lime. Glittery pink hot style, and last but not least, rock candy. So that's what we're working with for this dip powder kit. They do all have glitter in them, which is super cute. They are a little bit transparent, so keep that in mind if you do decide to purchase this kit. I am also going to be using a small eyeshadow brush to ombre all of the dip powder colors. So I have already prepped my nails and placed some full cover nail tips. If you don't know how to prep your natural nails for dip powder, I will link a video down in the description. You would normally want to buff the surface of the nail tip and then apply dip bond, but I decided not to do that for this tutorial. But if you would like your nails to last, I would definitely not skip that step. I would also highly recommend that you have a lint-free wipe with some acetone to clean off your brush in between each dip powder color to prevent contamination between all of your colors. So basically, I wanted to use all of the colors in this kit, so I'm going to go ahead and rearrange these colors how I would like. So I am going to be trying a vertical ombre. So this is my first time trying to ombre vertically, so wish me luck. <laughs> so I'm going to put the dip base over my entire nail, and I'm going to take the eyeshadow brush and dip it into the white dip powder, and I'm going to tap the brush and release that dip powder onto my nail. You want to be cautious not to pick up too much dip powder in your brush, otherwise it will just release a bunch of dip powder in one spot, which will cause your colors to not ombre. That's a big trick that I've learned for successfully ombreing your dip powders, is to get just a tiny bit of dip powder in your brush. I did go ahead and wipe the white dip powder off of the brush to dip into the blue, and I'm just placing this color on the other half of my nail. I'm then going to tap away the excess dip powder and here's how it looks. <laughs> Not too bad for the first ever vertical ombre. Could be better, but I'm going to go ahead and leave this how it is. For the next nail, I'm taking the previous color that I used for my thumb, which is the blue. And I'm also going to be pairing that with the pink dip powder. So I'm going to do the same step and apply the dip base to my entire nail. And then quickly take my eyeshadow brush and dip into my blue dip powder. And start tapping that on the left side of my nail. Clean off that eyeshadow brush and then I'm going to pick up the pink dip powder and apply this to the other half of my nail. So if you haven't picked up what I'm doing already, I am taking the color on the right half of my nail and applying it to the left half of my nail for the next one. So basically all of my nails will flow evenly together. So 
So I'm going to go ahead and repeat that same process, moving down each color as I work my way down to my pinky nail. So I'll let you guys continue watching and I'll come back in a minute. So I'm going to be using my fluffy unicorn nail brush because this one is beautiful and why not? So I'm just going to dust away all of the excess dip powder. As you can see, these dip powders are pretty see-through which is not always an issue. I actually really love how these nails came out and I think if they were more solid colors, I wouldn't have been able to ombre them as well. So after dusting off all of the excess dip powder, I'm going to repeat the same step and do a second layer of dip powder on all of the nails. So basically after I dusted away all of the excess dip powder, I did see that I did not have enough color on the right half of all of my nails. So I am reversing the method that I applied the dip powder. So I'm applying the color on the right of my nail first. That way it can stick to the dip powder and be more visible compared to the other color. So that is a good tip I have for the vertical ombre method. I really think for my first time ever doing a vertical ombre with dip powder, these nails did turn out pretty well. And also this kit is beautiful. The colors, I absolutely love them. I do love how all of the dip powders have the same glitter mix in them. It makes it super cute and blends all of the colors nicely. If you would like to purchase this nail kit, I will link it down in the description along with my discount code to save you guys some money. This kit is super beginner friendly. It's very easy to do dip powder. If you can paint and file your nails, you can easily do dip powder on yourself. This nail kit also comes with every single thing that you need to create beautiful dip powder nails. So after that layer is dry, I'm going to dust away all of the excess dip powder. This honestly reveals how your nails are turning out, so definitely don't judge how your nails are looking before you dust away the excess dip powder. So I'm going to take the triple zero, which is the clear base, and I'm going to do a normal dip powder application to all of the nails and encapsulate these nails. I did this because I did not want to risk filing off any of the ombre color when I go to file and shape my nails. You don't have to do this step, but I decided to just to make sure that my design turns out how I would like. I'm then going to apply the activator, which is number three, to all of my nails pretty generously. Activator does harden all of the layers of dip powder and make sure that they're ready to be filed.
So I am taking the full sized hand pile from the 12 piece manicure buffing set that Double Dip has. I am also going to be using the buffing block from that same nail kit. I am using these because they are bigger and they are easier to hold. I am going to go ahead and shape my nails. I am doing the same shape that I have on my other hand which is a tapered square but the sides are kind of rounded like a ballerina shape. So I don't exactly know what to call this shape other than like a tapered square ballerina shape. <laughs> then I'm going to take the buffing block and I'm going to buff the surface of all of my nails. This step is really important to get a very smooth surface and get rid of any lumps that you may have in your manicure. This does make your manicure look a lot more professional so I would definitely not skip this step. So here are the nails after they have all been filed and shaped. I'm going to be doing the same design I have on my left hand on my right hand. So I just have a little paper here to place the gel polish on. This gel polish I'm using is from the gel polish and nail lacquer set that Double Dip has. This is number 597 which is called Spring Bouquet. So I just placed a little bit of that gel polish onto the paper to easily pick up with my nail art brush. This is the nail art brush that I'm going to be using. It is a very fine nail art brush. I am also going to be using the small side of my dotting tool. So picking up some of that gel polish, I'm going to be doing some T-shaped stars as I did for my other hand. Some nails have one, two, or three different stars. And they're definitely not placed in any type of order. I'm going to go ahead and apply stars to all of the other nails. So after that, I'm going to take the small side of my dotting tool and add some dots around those stars. These are smaller stars, but they are circles, obviously. <laughs> I did try to focus these dots around the other stars, kind of like clusters of stars. I did place some randomly throughout the nail, but I did not want to add too many dots. So I'm going to go ahead and add dots to all of the other nails. Then I'm going to cure that under the UV LED lamp. This one is from the Bellavina Poly Gel Kit. I will link that down in the description. After that layer is cured, I'm going to take my no wipe gel top coat and apply this to all of the nails. As I said in my last video, I really like to use this gel top coat on my nail art designs because it does have a thicker consistency so it does smooth out the surface of your nails very nicely. And of course, it has a gorgeous shine. I am going to turn my hand upside down for a few seconds before curing. This allows the gel to self level and give you a smoother nail surface. And then I'm going to cure under the UV LED lamp for 60 seconds. Then I'm taking the cuticle oil which is number 6. I really like this one, it smells great and it's very nourishing for your cuticles. And I'm going to apply this to all of my cuticles to rehydrate them. 
And here are the nails. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you learned something new. Keep in mind this was my non-dominant hand so the nail art is not that great. <laughs> For the first time in a good while, both hands are matching which is really nice. They're not identical but they are the same length, shape, colors, and they have the same nail art. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below of what you think of this design. And here are the nails as they're glowing in the dark. Keep in mind this was directly out of my UV LED lamp. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!